Hey everyone, Genome here. Well, one of my recent episodes of Was It Good kind of inspired me uh, to take on the challenge of something I've never really done before, and that's paint. And why haven't I tried it, might you ask? Well, it's because I'm a terrible artist. But uh, my lovely wife has decided to uh, help me out with this whole project, and we're going to attempt to do a Bob Ross portrait from his actual show. Now, I'll go ahead and edit some of that out for time, because uh, we're gonna have to take pauses, go outside, clean some brushes every now and then. But you'll get the idea, and we'll, I'll try to give you an idea of how long it actually takes and if it's actually feasible for a first-time person to get in there and do one of these paintings right from the show. So we're going to go ahead and get our canvas set up with liquid white, let that dry just a little bit, and get our palette set up, and then we'll commence to paint. You ready? Yep. All right, we got our liquid white applied to the canvas here. And you probably won't hear me talk too much more, uh, seeing as I need to concentrate fully because I have no idea what I'm doing here. So you'll probably hear a lot of Bob in the background and we'll have to pause him periodically, but I'll try to cut and edit all that out. So, anything you want to add before we go? I'm just excited to get started. All right, Tara, let's do it. And it's all on. <laughs> and welcome back. Certainly glad to see you today. It's a fantastic day here and I hope it is wherever you're at. So I'll tell you what, let's start out today and have them run all the colors across the screen that you need to paint along with us. While they're doing that, let me show you what I got done up here. It really works well. Just let's do something easy. Start me with a two-inch brush and let's go right into a little touch of the phthalo blue. And just touch a little and pull it out and then tap the bristles. That gives us a nice even distribution of colors. See, all the way through the bristles. Okay, let's go up here. Because we have the liquid white on here. The color is continually mixing. So you start at the top, making a lot of X's, little crisscross strokes. Just <laughs> Let's see how it blends with that liquid white. If you had a drag canvas, it's just, it just doesn't work like that. The liquid white really allows you to blend the color. It makes life easy when you paint. There we are. And as we work down toward the horizon, we want to get lighter and lighter in value. That doesn't look like it's getting lighter. I think they let the white make their eyes clean light. I'm gonna have a damn blue sky. I have blue in there. <laughs> it's better than it's getting really out. dark. <laughs> That's gonna have to get edited out. It's <laughs> just gonna work. <laughs> I can't seem to thin it. You have a night sky. Yeah. It's going to be deep blue. You need more blue? Uh, yeah, the lighter blue. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so far, interesting. I just put my brush right in the freaking face. <laughs> This is what y'all watching for, isn't it? I went a little too far here. I'm committed now. I'll cover it up with a hat now. Well, let's see what he does next. And that will happen automatically because once again, the paint's mixing with the liquid white that's on the canvas. And so it gets lighter in value automatically. Yeah, we let the white dry. You don't have to do the thing. Note to self, next time, don't let the white dry so long. Something about the brush strokes and brings everything together. Here we are. Turn the white now. Pull down on the brush from here. We'll take a little more. This dries really fast. Yeah, no. Okay, so water. Okay, so far, I think we've learned to. Uh, Prep our paints a little more ahead of time so we can go right from the wet, wet white because <laughs> this is not applying as easily as it shows on his screen.
like a gymnast here. <laughs> Try to work it out. Since both <laughs> now say, and don't worry about it this time. Yeah, I mean, we don't want to. Oh, I forgot. Careful. Right again. <laughs> right again. <laughs> I'm all right. Look at me. What did you forget, though? So I'll clean our knives it. up. We gotta clean our knives. I need to clean my hand. <laughs> Look at me. Okay. It's turning One, two. green. Mm -hmm. He said it will. Not much. Not much. This is what works, guy. In water. See, I told you this was going to be a very simple little painting. It's easy it's enough. Nothing you like. never no. <laughs> more damn yellow. It's more yellow. Sure. <laughs> Butcher this thing. <laughs> I got a lot of white in mine, but we're gonna have to call that it, I guess. <laughs> That's in the clouds. To be a very simple way. Got one inch brush. Okay, so it's going. We'll use the little one inch brush and just pull it through some color. Titanium white. Just pull it through. Let's go up in here. Maybe, maybe our cloud lives right here. Little tiny circles. Little tiny circles. There you go. Come out of basic cloud shapes. Don't just throw it up there and, and think that a cloud will appear. You have to have a basic shape to work with. Something about like that. What the heck? We don't care. Clouds are very free. Very, very free. Now with a good, clean, dry, two-inch brush, gently, gently, gently. Over here, these little wispies, I'm not even gonna do anything, but just, just blend right over. These are little soft floaters. It'll live way back in the distance somewhere far away. That looks like crap. Okay. I think we have the wrong kind of brush, too. Yeah, these are right. too that easy? Thought we were doing it first. I have these little clouds. My yellow looks freaking yellow. Tell you what, like a salon right there. Let's tell us a little mountain. Ooh, wow. Take some black. Black. Okay, let's see where black. So black and black. 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 Yeah, midnight black. Should be that. Oh, there. that one. That's your color color. Mm -hmm. What's the uh, color? Ish. Tell you what, let's do. Let's build us a little mountain. Mostly black. What do you think so far? Brown, blue. Just to change the flavor. I've had some people say that it's hard to make mountains. I'm gonna show you the easiest way imaginable. All we do is just put in a basic shape and you decide the shape of your mountain. You decide. If you don't live someplace there's mountains and you wanna paint a mountain, there are books and, and videotapes and all kind of stuff that show you all different shapes of mountains. Or just make one up. Just make it up. Any kind of world. There's no bad stuff here. That's why we have happy little trees and everything's happy here. You know, I'm just going to sort of pull that down. Grab it and sort of pull it down. Just like we would normally do to make a mountain. See, it's getting lighter down at the base. Something sucks. All right, what's he doing now? Uh, just pulling down with the ankles. So, that's a little paint here. With the dry brush? Um, yeah. Yeah, this doesn't smear off very well at all. <laughs> It's like really thick. I don't know because he's using oil or what. But... Oh, you take some titanium white. At least any touch of dark sierra. Maybe just a touch more than that. Ooh, that's nice. This is freaking hilarious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My black is just coming off. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Now 
no pressure. You want this paint to break. And by break, I mean have all these little holes here in it. See there? And maybe a little touch. I don't break. Here. Nothing doesn't move either. Gotta make those little noises. And sometimes those little noises really do help. See, I got like no, my, my other side, my sweep, it's all black. Right have, you put, have you put anything on there? Doesn't mm -hmm. look like you put anything on there. He didn't do anything though, he just pulled it, didn't he? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Here, I'm just, <laughs> I'm going on my own. Yours is transparent. <laughs> yes, it is. And so we have so far. We are trying to fix our mountains. Because they don't look quite as good as Bob's. All you're doing is just tapping. The most important thing is the angles here. You don't want your mountain to flow up this way and you put grasses going in a different direction. It will disturb you. I bet you've looked at paintings and your mind says something's wrong with that painting. You might not, might not be able to tell exactly what it is, but you know something's wrong with it. And sometimes it can be something as simple as that. You need to ruin it for you? So these little, little things that we talk I say let's not <laughs> put this anywhere. This is like a like, rat. <laughs> the baby's first painting. <laughs> I don't think we have the right brush. I think that's yeah. the problem. I need it. That's my Oh, there's a couple. There's a couple different things I think is the issue. The black didn't want to um, cooperate. No, it didn't. Okay, did you get your now the color mixed up. All those together. Um, I'm going to wipe my knife off. Use number three fan brush. Fan brush, yes. Put some of that dark color on there. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh, my brains look so crappy. Look at this brush. It's hurting. We're doing it, baby. Yeah. Not well, but we're doing it. <laughs> Okay, halfway in, and it looks nothing like his picture, but we're having a good time. I'm going to tap the base of this to create the illusion of mist down here. Just the illusion of mist. You need the illusion of a paint. <laughs> right down here. Yeah. Better my color. Mine looks like it's just melting. I can't seem to get that hole he's doing. Crickies. You can do that. Oh, we haven't finished the, uh... There, this is just dark color, so we can put a lighter color on top of it later. I know that see that up there. Absolutely have to have dark. You to have light. But you can have dark. You gotta have opposites. Dark and light, light and dark. Continually in painting. You have light on light, you have nothing. You have dark on dark, you basically have nothing. You know, it's like in life. It can have a little sad, so it's a little sad. You know when the good times You okay? Yeah. I'm waiting on the good times now. I need to put hazel here. Standing up. I'm mixing black. Oh, it's not going well. My trees are invisible. They're so dark. <laughs> As you can see, my wife is free-forming right now. <laughs> she has a bit of a planet kind of crashing in. She likes that end of the world stuff, so. <laughs> I believe she's actually channeling her Picasso phase, you know, the abstractionists. Oh, 
Oh, it's a very nice tree. I have a lot of empty spaces though. <laughs> it probably shouldn't be there. Up my <laughs> See, what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> I just filled it in with blue. I'm gonna try to fill in the rest of my blue here. That. Look at mine. Here's <laughs> like a watercolor. Yeah, I thought the mountain would be the easiest part. Man, mine looked awful. Just awful. <laughs> I couldn't get that paint to break or whatever the hell I wanted. And this is. These are sun or something. <laughs> that kind of looks like pyramids. <laughs> yeah, great pyramids of Giza. All right, well, let's take a look and see how it come out. Spoiler, not well. <laughs> My happy little clouds aren't quite as happy as his. My mountains, uh, it's no purple mountain majesty either. Trees came out okay, but our color palette seems to be wrong, and my water line is a little more, how shall we say, primitive. I even signed this monstrosity. So future generations will know that they once witnessed the creation of the worst painting in history. My wife turned hers into an abstract. Hers is actually cooler looking than mine with Jupiter appears to be crashing into the surface. And ladies and gentlemen, that as they say is that. Catch me next time when we try finger painting. Maybe something a little more on our talent level. Until next time, this is Genome out. All right, there's the finished product. Uh, can't say it looks incredibly like what uh, he did on screen, but uh, I believe it, if you go on Netflix, it was season one, episode 14. So if you want to give it a try, that's the one I did. But uh, I mean, that's our first one, so maybe not so bad. And here's the one the wife did. I believe she took some inspiration from maybe Van Gogh and some of the other watercolor experts out there. Maybe Matisse, but uh, yeah, hers has more of a modern approach to it. Anyway, thanks for viewing. All right, so <laughs> what do you think of our amazing artwork? I think it's really good. I did not think that like that was possible to achieve. Okay, so these clouds look more like mom's clouds, and these clouds look more like Dave's clouds. All right. But there's a planet here, I'm assuming, because the sun's more bright than that. And mom likes her planets and outer spaceness. The trees over here look very detailed, which made me think it was mom's. And the trees here look more abstract. Mom's always been very very artistic, but this one, it's just, I feel like there's more detail in the mountains and it looks very detailed in this one. It looks very like abstract, but it still looks good. Like I really like both of them. Like I like how there's like the purple. I really like that and how it like matches the planet. I like it. So who do you think? I'm not rating them. I mean, other than looking at the initials, you would have thought the other one was mine? I would have thought this one was yours. 
But Just look at the planet. <laughs> Yeah, but like that is a planet, right? That is a planet. Okay. Thank you. Is this like another? Is this another world? We're on. Is that what you're saying in this? Okay. If I put a stargate in there, okay. then yes, it's okay. another world. <laughs> so the planet makes me think it's yours. The trees make me think it's yours. Like I would think that did a very good job on his trees. I didn't make any trees. I got, I was tired by the time we were done. I made some happy little trees. I was, my brush wasn't doing very well. And like, the detail and the reflection in the water and how this is like, right here, it just, it looks so very detailed. And I like, but this one just like, it looks good. Like, don't get me wrong, it looks good. And there's more purple in it, which is your favorite color. So, but I would have thought that this one was yours because you're always like doodling and stuff. And I've only seen chicken scratch from Dave. <laughs> so. But something gave it away. The initials right here. But yeah, I really like both of them. They're really good. All right, we'll have to get you in on the next one. The next one? Mm-hmm. There's another one? Where? <laughs> 